we are now on the flight. Welcome back to the vlog, BTW. Totally couldn't say that. We are in business class. I've got my comfy trousers on. And I'm like all settled in. I did put makeup on for the journey. I've literally just got concealer and bronzer and mascara on. So I'm gonna take makeup off. Put face mask on, pan eye mask on. And I haven't brought my laptop with me. So I'm literally just gonna read, watch films and enjoy the high life, literally. Um, I just ordered a glass of champagne every night. So just moved so that I could sit near Jess. So we can enjoy the experience together. Champagne. We are really far, good God. When I'm tired, I'm really clumsy. And when I'm not tired, I'm really clumsy. So when I'm clumsy for me, I've literally nearly fallen over like 10 times. I think the people around me think I'm a blundering idiot. Bloody well am. Got a little TV situation here. Pillow. I think this is a foot press so I can like press my bright orange feet <laughs> there if I want. And I've got a little underneath stowage or another little foot press but my feet won't reach. And apparently this chair comes all the way back. And then we've got a little table that can come down. Little situation. I've got a little I filled with my skincare, um, which let me show you what I'm going to do. And champagne and Jess. This is what I'm going to do. Take my makeup off. Do a green tea face mask. And then use this. And I've always also got eye and dry mask too. So, just got the starter for a meal. I've got some foie gras and I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's like patty or like some kind of terrine and a bread roll. I'm going to be more salt pepper. So cute. Totally forgot to tell you what I got for my main. But I got a little cheese board, some like grape, cheddar, blue cheese, and crackers. Just ordered a glass of wine to go with it. So we've landed in Chiang Mai and it's raining a lot. We're just in the race. car going back to going to <laughs> the fall season. Um, and apparently it's massage day today, which I am totally down for because I'm feeling so tired and just strange. Like I need to eat, I need to brush my teeth. Um, I need to do a lot of things. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Look at this view of the rice terraces. This is my room, 1404. Let's see. Oh my god. How incredible. This place is insane. Look at the little tea thing. Oh my god, there's a little note. Note for me, Sinead. Two notes for me. Oh, and a candle. And this is so beautiful. And look, some food which I'm starving. I can't wait to eat. Oh, look at the condensation in the window because it's so humid. Isn't that insane? Oh my gosh, this bed is calling out to me. We had twelve. 11 12 hour flight and then a two hour break and then a one hour flight so i'm literally in so need of that bed and then oh my god holy moly look at this can't believe this is all for me oh my god i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry look at this shower look at this bath i am having a bath here if i do not have a bath and talk about having a bath in this vlog please can you all have a go at me because this is ridiculous and you can go out here. Oh my god, you can sit on the toilet. Look. <laughs> look. Oh no. I thought that was a door then. I was like, oh my god. I'm gonna open the door and have nature whilst you're on the toilet. This bath, friggin' not where I'm having a bath tonight, maybe. I think I've already been bitten. Oh my gosh, can you tell how excited I am? It's insane. I feel so spoiled, literally. I just can't believe, 
One, I can't believe I'm in Thailand. Two, I can't believe I'm in Thailand with Pandora, one of my favourite brands that I always wanted to work with and just generally have loved their products. Like, I think I got one of their bracelets for my 21st birthday. Major fake tan disaster. Happy. <laughs> yeah. Bad. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I'm here and in this incredible place and just hashtag shit. So I've just discovered another amazing part of this room through these doors. If you come through, look at the view from this balcony. It's incredible. And literally, look at this little swinging chair. Pictures are gonna be had on here. It's incredible. Little flower thing. How amazing is this? So we've just sat down for dinner. We've got a little cocktail. I don't know if anyone else is drinking, but I feel Josie would do her cocktail. That is good. Um, so I thought I'd order myself my Pandora jewels on, um, my terrible fake tan hat, and just kind of looking forward to my first taste of Thai food. I ordered satay chicken because I wasn't feeling very adventurous. I just thought I'd check in. Um, so it is now 4 pm. I had my massage and I feel like crap afterwards. Basically, I just fell asleep like multiple times. I fell asleep when I was on my back, like through the little hole thing, and my whole mouth felt like dribble. And I was just like, oh my god, I bet there's a pool of dribble on the floor. And then I fell asleep on my front. Oh god, these hands are awful. And then I was like, uh, groggy. While well, she was like, it was a traditional time. It's like at one point I was literally sat on my front and she was sat behind me, like pulling my legs and like arms and like sticking her feet in my back. And like she literally, when she got on the bed, I was like, oh my god, she's gonna stand on my back. I can't, I'm like not in the mood for that. But she didn't. Um, but it was really good. It was really good actually. But I just think, because I'm so tired, because like we've literally. I don't know, it's 10 o'clock in the UK now, and we caught our flight at, well, I got up at 5 o'clock at the UK, so I've now been up for 29 hours with three hours sleep, so that's where I'm at, <laughs> and I get bad anxiety anyway, if you watch my vlogs, you'll know I get bad anxiety, and then um, I it's even worse when I'm tired, and then napping is like the worst thing for it. But we've got 6.30, we've got drinks at a bar. And then 7 o'clock, we've got dinner. And then I reckon we'll all just want an early night because we're all gonna be naked. So I'm all ready to go for dinner. And we're going to an Italian tonight. And I'm really glad because I'm so hungry. And I just feel like Thai food can be quite spicy. So I want something I can just like gobble down. But I want to show you my outfit because I really love this dress. It's so beautiful. Um, it's like really floaty and oversized. It's from H&M. Um, it's not online at the moment, but I'll keep an eye out. Maybe when this video is live, it will be online. It's really big pop sleeves. And then I've got this bag on again from Made by Wave. And then these little sandals. I don't know if this is a bit daytime. I don't know if to change into my castanias, but I quite like this kind of like laid back, chilled vibe. So I'm going for it. Morning. <laughs> I need to do good Good morning. It is. I've got like. I've really lost track. What day is it? It's Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. So we lost a day, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so it's Wednesday now. Uh, it's like our first full day, but our second day in Thailand. Um, so yesterday was like so tired. I had a good night's sleep last night. Um, the bed was so comfortable. And this morning, me and Jess had like a really nice breakfast. I did try and film it for you guys, but like the condensation situation was real um so i'm just we're going to the factory today so i'm going to try and film as much as i can there but i'm not sure if we'll have to film inside but i'll try um and then i've got this really cute dress on which is like a um, midi linen dress and actually one of my followers uh, sent me this she's got her own brand and so i'll link it below it's really nice it's all like really nice linen and stuff um so yeah i'll take you so we just got inside the factory. I can't actually film the thing, but this is like the area. Look, it's Okachal. Josie's filming. And we're all just waiting to go in. But I can't show you the actual production line, but I think there are things that I can show you. Look, this is a statue of the Winnipeg, um, which is the charm, which um, 
is, I don't know if it's like symbolizes Pandora. Basically, there's a charm that only people who work at Pandora can have and buy, and it's called the Winnipeg, and this is it. the wax molds so after they've made a rubber cast they then fill it with wax and make the wax molds um, which then they put into something else and then melt the wax out and then they put the silver in and this is what they make um, and then these are the charms and they're obviously like polished up and completely finished but how interesting that with the diamante ones and um, which are actually all cubic zirconia because they don't use diamonds because diamonds you can't be sure that they're going to be not blood diamonds so they only ever use cubic zirconia so they're totally safe and they set them into the wax and then um, the, they stay in when they melt the wax how amazing is that So we've learnt so much about the battery today and I'm going to try and remember to tell you everything. I kind of just talked you through the process but I might talk to you again when I get back to my room just to make sure that I got everything covered. But basically we learnt about this factory and it was only built two years ago um, and they have around 2,500 employees working here um, and they aim to make it 5,000 by next year. Um, and they make so much jewellery here, it's insane. All of the jewellery goes through over 30 pairs of hands um, before it comes, it's like finished. It's like amazing the process that it goes through and they've really like gone to all efforts to make it completely sustainable. So basically, um, 80, it's got, they use 80% of their own power, which are, is getting from solar panels. Um, they collect rainwater in the centre and then they use that rainwater in all of the processes and they also reuse the water so they don't just like get rid of it once they've used it they then reuse it and keep reusing it for a while until it's like no longer reusable um, and they just basically have so many different processes it just makes it amazing like um, oh we saw loads of girls going around in blue uniforms and we were like what's the blue uniform thing so all of the girls in blue uniforms are pregnant. So it doesn't matter what stage of pregnancy, um, they get these blue uniforms. So everyone knows they're pregnant, then their um, targets will be lowered. So they won't, aren't expected as much. They get two breaks um, and two lunch hours and two meals. Um, so they have like, more time to rest. Um, and just so everyone kind of knows that they're pregnant so people can cut them some slack and they like, could give them space and just like let them be. So yeah really seems like the most amazing company to work for. So this is outside in the factory. Marie Cohn just is having a little photo shoot and everyone's having their lunches. And then look, this is the lake that I was telling you about where they collect the rainwater and like you can just really see the attention that they've made to detail and design just so that one, it flows really nicely and two, it just doesn't feel like a factory. Like what other factory has all of this? They've got a supermarket, they've got a canteen with like a food court in it um, they've just got so many amazing things in their supermarket they can pay their um, house bills and their electric bills and everything it's just amazing really that um, they really look after their employees and you can see this halo thing that they created just for some shade in the summer and also because it's rainy season at the moment particularly like from the rain so they can walk in between and like kind of sit outside but not get wet um, so it's just really nice how they paid such attention to the design. Filming. Filming. We're filming, guys. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. 
Oh my god, I just jumped in this thing and I do not know what to do right now. Um, basically, we like all jumped in the pool and had a really fun afternoon and had a facial and so I had eight minutes to get ready for this evening. Which is why my face is not quite up to scratch, but I am like in a weird way. I really like this dress. This is a free people dress. I sh might show you for I'm so tired. I'm really sorry, guys. No, no, it's easy. I'm in this one. So, Luke recreated this picture that I took earlier. I took from by the pool, splashing the water. So <laughs> he recreated it. I've done an Instagram poll to see who, who prefers switch. So, I'll let you know who wins. Personally, I think the water action in mine is way better. Marcello! 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 Walking on! Are you filming us? This oh, is going on her vlog. Chat. Well, I don't know. Okay, here we go, here we go, Marsha. Okay, walking on. Walking on, broken, walking on, walking on, broken glass. Walking on, walking on, broken glass. Boom, 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 boom. Bum 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 morning it is our last day in Chiang Mai with Pandora it is day what day is it Thursday so tomorrow morning we leave so it's the last full day but like we literally leave at like 6 a.m so it's, it doesn't really count um we're going to a market and then we're going to temples we're going like a tuk tuk tour of Chiang Mai and then this afternoon I think we might have a shoot and then um I'm just gonna swim in the pool and really chill I did want to shoot some more stuff but I'm kind of like CBA, like I just really want to enjoy my time here the rest of the time here I just want to go in the pool like a normal person and just like chill and not think about photos Um because I did quite a few yesterday But if other people are shooting then I'm not gonna lie I might do it But I do really want to go in the pool like if I don't go in the pool today, I'll be disappointed But oh my god last night was insane Um I'll put a clip in of us like basically we went to this restaurant and we all had like loads of wine And we we're just like loving life and then on the way home So Carly and Jess went home before us they were just like chilling by the bar and the bar was going to close by the time we got home so we rang them and we were like you have to get us wine like we will ruin you get us wine um so they like ordered loads of wine for us and then um on the way home like we all like were singing songs so we were like when we get in we can't just walk in we have to be like do 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 so i'll put a clip in it's so funny we all like walked in like uh ciao funky what up down funky what i think i'm still a bit drunk and long story short drank a couple of bottles of wine ended up in the pool fully dressed had the best night of my life had such a, a fun time literally love these girls like whatever press trip does that happen on they are so much fun they are my favorite people i have some videos of us um singing in the car too but some of the songs are quite inappropriate so i'm not sure if i can insert those um, but yeah, it was so much fun. I had the best time and today we're going to the market So I'm really sorry that I haven't been filming as much or maybe I have I always apologize and then I'm like, oh, I've actually filmed loads um, But I feel like I've not been as good at getting the camera out, but it's because I've been having such a lovely time um, But I just like keep forgetting
guys. So, just got back to the hotel. I've just been back to the room to get my swimming cosy. I couldn't change into it or anything because we're doing some filming by the pool, I think. And then I'm going to get my swimming costume. I was going to do some pictures and stuff. I mean, I'm wearing a swimming costume. I haven't shot yet. But, do you know what? It'd be nice just to actually relax and not have to stress about stuff like that. And I just want to just want to lay by the pool for a few hours before we go home do you know what I mean and I know people are probably thinking like oh my god it's not exactly hard to take pictures but it is because you have to care about what we look like I don't want to care about what I look like I just want to be comfortable um so anyway yeah I had um a really nice day I was absolutely knackered though Woo! had a lovely dinner had chicken satay which I've had quite a few times at um the little like Nana's cafe type thing. Had a couple of alcoholic drinks actually, I forgot. I didn't want to drink today, but if you only mango juice, I have to quick. Oh, never gonna get over that view. Well, I'll have to get over it because it won't happen. Oh, there's a farmer's dance at five every more, every day at 5 p.m. when they finish, they do a little dance and I'm gonna hopefully see it tonight, so I'll film it. I really wanted to see it, so yeah. Um, just going to pull now, yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't know what else to say to me. Oh, I'm really annoyed because we went to the market I, oh god, Kylie's coming, she's going to see me videoing and now I'm embarrassed, I'm going to put it away. So, I was just talking to them about my shoes, my sandals, I was going to say sandwiches then. Basically, I don't know if I told you this, or if I just told you it or not, I told you it. I'm delirious, I had a nap on the way home, it was really nice actually, um, and I'm going to blabber for so long, sorry, I'll be really quick. Um... Oh yeah, my shoes. I walked through the fish market in my rope sandals and they absorbed all of the fish gut juicy stuff. My feet stink, my sandals are ruined. I'm not happy and I'm going the wrong way. Um, I'm not happy about that, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to lay by the pool now. Hopefully I'll be able to film with Pandora like now so that then I can jump in the pool, which is all I wanna do. But yeah, I'll show you the farmer's dance and dinner tonight. Apparently we're having like an eight course taste a menu of Thai food which sounds incredible so stay tuned for that <laughs> they're doing the dance well they're not really dancing but look how fun I'm in the pouring rain because they have to show you they're setting a light. Look, they go in and then set that alight. How oh, cool. Okay, I'm going back under the umbrella now. So it's raining in Chiang Mai. So it's raining in Chiang Mai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think you're so funny. You oh, think you're so funny. <laughs> Carry on, Sinead. And. and. <laughs> We're gonna go for one last dip in the pool. Last. We are gonna go for one last, one dip, last in dip in the pool. This could literally be framed. This is such a beautiful shot. This could literally be Did anyone ever tell you you are really annoying? <laughs> Come on guys, it's gonna stop raining. I wanna run. guys so I just thought I'd check in before my last meal I don't know what this is I've got like this weird line can you see it here on both of my arms so weird I don't know where it's come from um 
basically I just wanted to check in and be like my last meal I'm so sad what is that sorry I'm so easily distracted in this vlog um, and also I want to show you some of the products that I've been using because I just think like it's interesting to do um, and here they are <laughs> here they are so we have got oh there we go charcoal capsules always an essential if you're going to anywhere abroad like Asia I take them everywhere now even in like Europe because they're like Imodium but they don't block you up they just like soak up anything thankfully I haven't had to use them this holiday um, this I love Percy Reed Wonder Balm and I also have been using their Wonder Shampoo and Wonder Conditioner Suave Deodorant I know this is really boring but I honestly would recommend this so much <laughs> Nukes Aftersun love it this pie skincare, honestly I haven't had much time to do my skincare if I'm honest, but when I have, this is a dream, I love it, it's rosehip oil. And then I've got my Shiseido sun creams, which I also haven't used as much as I thought I would because it's been quite overcast, but these are the, like my go-to choice, they're new and I love them. I haven't actually tested them out in terms of um, like how well they work, but Shiseido is obviously known for their skincare, so I would trust them 100%, and they smell really nice, and love the packaging, it's like super small and like easy to carry. Um, this cleansing balm, which is super tiny, and I love it, Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, and then we've got the Marine Cream that goes with it, and then this Jungle Formula is honestly, it's so stinky, but it's the best one that is um, for like getting rid of mosquitoes, or like stopping them biting you. Skin Suiticals, SPF to put on my face under my makeup. Percy Reed Dry Shampoo Poo, which is amazing, and Aveda Sun Care Protective Hair Veil, which is actually amazing. And it's like basically you put it on your part in and your hair, and it doesn't make your hair greasy, but it like stops your scalp from getting sunburned. So tonight on the agenda, we are going to another restaurant in Four Seasons, and we are. It's a Rim Thai kitchen. It's a Thai restaurant and we are having an eight course Thai taster menu which I am so excited about kind of thinking like I should wear something a bit looser for this but I just really like this outfit and I haven't worn this yet these shorts are from Zara I got them in the sale um, and then this top I got in the sale too from Zara and I've actually tied knots in at the top because it's so low Um I really like it low but it's still so low now without so low without without being fully low, if you know what I mean. I don't know what I mean, so I don't think you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm just blabbing again. This video is gonna be a lot of blabbing of me, probably cut it all out. But I've had a really good trip, I'm honestly, let me turn you around. I was honestly saying to the girls, that, like, it feels like I'm on holiday with my friends, like, it doesn't feel like I'm on a press trip and like I'm here for work, like, it doesn't feel like that at all. Like, obviously I've been shooting, but, like, I love Pandora and Joy anyway and wear it every day, so, like, I'm just taking pictures like I would normally do if I was on holiday in a beautiful place, wearing the jewellery and being on a trip. Like, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I'm not being paid to be here. Um, I am a Pandora ambassador, but that's handled through a PR company, and this was a trip direct with Pandora, so even though I'm an ambassador, it's not like this isn't part of my paid ambassadorship, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. Um, not that like I'm pushing Chiang Mai and their links with Pandora, but I just want to be completely clear with you guys. So like, I, I do work with them, but this isn't paid, and any posts that I've done for them whilst I've been away, haven't been paid. Anything that's paid has a specific brief because it's through a PR and has ad on it. So just so you know, um, but yeah, I'm gonna take this little wee baggy, wee little baggy out with me tonight and I'm gonna go and stuff my face with Thai food. We're gonna have a live demonstration of some Thai cooking. I can't wait. Look at how cute those plates are and these are so cute. Yeah, you might be. Home. I look like baby Jesus. So, like, I look like a newborn in the worst way possible. <laughs> um, I'm just with these girls. We've got a little set up here. We've like we've got all down. I'll link everyone, I'll link everyone um, below who is, um, who's in this vlog. I'll link their Instagrams and their YouTubes and like 
everything. So you can go find them and check them out. And um, yeah, so basically I'm going to end the vlog now. There's not much more to show you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Do you like my travel vlog? I don't know why I'm asking for I can do it. Um, and thank you so much to Pandora. I'm just saying this because Jess did and I copied what she just said in her signing off vlog. Well, I am thankful, Pandora. Like, I'm really grateful. So thank you so much, Pandora. So to Abby. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, for giving me these incredible experiences like buying business class, staying at the Four Seasons and just generally feeling like an absolute queen and also like for making, adorning me with jewellery and for just all these great experiences and I just can't believe that I'm a brand ambassador for making me with these. and I'm going to Thailand and I'm like having like the best time of my life.